The Rapid Change ATC magazine is finally available for purchase on our website. You can use the coupon code YouTube for an additional $50 off our standard magazine. The Rapid Change ATC magazine uses an infrared brake beam sensor to detect loading and unloading failures in two zones. If the spindle and the sockets in the magazine become misaligned from a crash or lost steps, the spindle may fail to load or unload the tool properly. Misalignment of more than 0.2 millimeters will cause the threading process to become unstable. So this is how the IR sensors work with our M6 function. When loading a tool, the spindle will rise to zone one and perform a check. If the beam is clear, the spindle will move to safe clearance. A message will pop up asking you to load the tool. Then it waits for a user input and then proceeds to set the tool offset and continue the program. After the check at zone one, the spindle rises to zone two and makes another check. If the nut does not thread all the way on, the beam will be broken and it will repeat the same failure procedure as at zone one. While unloading the tool, the spindle rises to zone one and performs a check. If the beam is broken, the program pauses, moves to safe clearance, and a message will ask you to remove the tool and wait for user input, then continue the program. I designed the clearance holes in the cap to be 0.4 millimeters larger in diameter than the clamping nut. So if the nut rubs on the side of the clearance hole, there will be an audible alarm to let you know that alignment has been disturbed. I will demonstrate a couple failures. I have purposely offset the X alignment by 1.5 millimeters to show you an extreme example. Notice the sound of the nut rubbing on the sides of the clearance hole. This is a good audible alert that misalignment has taken place. In this example, the nut has only been threaded on about two revolutions. The infrared sensors detect this type of failure at zone two. I finish threading the nut on, hit cycle start, and the program continues. And here is a noisy failed unloading attempt. Notice that it makes a second attempt to unload the tool before failing. This time, it successfully unloaded it. If it hadn't, it would have gone to safe clearance and paused the program. I have performed thousands of tool changes and, well, as I'm sure you know, it is not difficult to crash your machine, especially if you are doing a lot of development with code and changing setups. If aligned properly, the tool change is perfectly repeatable. But as we know, um, stuff happens. So I came up with the tool recognition idea and it works flawlessly. We have worked hard to make certain our tool change dynamics are fail safe. And I believe we have succeeded. If you're not using the IR sensors, I would suggest that after unloading the tool, you bring the spindle to safe clearance before moving to the next pocket. The cap and magazine block are both machined from high-density polyethylene. I have found that it is superior to any other material for several reasons, especially for the cap, as it takes any damage caused by misalignment. I will continue to make more videos on the dynamics and benefits of rapid change. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. I appreciate your interest. Thanks for watching.